the music says it all. This red velvet cake with cream cheese frosting is heavenly. Learn how to make it in your rice cooker on Life of Pang. As a reminder, the full recipe will be below this video. If you're on a mobile device, go ahead and get out of full screen mode and then you will see an upside down triangle. Click on that and it will expand. If you're on a computer browser, make sure you click on the show more words. It's a couple of lines right below the publish date. Start by mixing 3 quarter cup of milk and 1 tablespoon of white vinegar and then set it aside for about 10 minutes. Then let's sieve our dry ingredient. We'll need 1 and 1 third cup of flour, 1 half teaspoon of salt, 1 and 1 half teaspoon of baking powder. And sieve this thoroughly. Uh oh! I forgot some other ingredients. Let's add 1 and a half tablespoon of cocoa powder, 1 teaspoon of baking soda, and sieve that into the dry ingredients. In a large mixing bowl, add 1 half cup of white sugar, 2 teaspoon of vanilla extract, and 2 third cup of softened or melted butter. Mix until they are incorporated. We'll need 3 eggs for this recipe. Just mix in 1 egg at a time. And now time for our food coloring. Add about 1 half teaspoon to a teaspoon at a time until you get the color you want. Once you're at the desired color, go ahead and add your milk mixture. And I like to sieve my dry ingredient a second time into the batter. Boy, my batter is pink. I still don't like it. I'm going to add more food coloring. I think next time I need a darker red. And yes, I need a new pot. So we're going to line it with baking paper. I'm just taking a piece of butter and coating the inside of my pot and also coating the baking paper. Take some all-purpose flour and just flour the inside of your pot and the baking paper. Be sure to shake off excess flour. And carefully pour your batter into your rice cooker. And let's start our first cook. For those of you new to baking in your rice cooker, there are a few important things you should know. First, the rice cooker will only be in this cook state for only 5 minutes. And then it's going to go into a warm status. And this is completely normal because the rice cooker is getting too hot and it needs to cool down. But don't worry, your cake is still baking in this warm state. So don't open the rice cooker until after the second or third bake cycle because we want to keep that hot air in there to bake the cake. Now you do need to come back and push that cook button again after about 30 minutes. And usually I forget to come back so that's why I usually just set my timer for 30 minutes the minute I hit that cook button. Now if you do try to push that cook button and it doesn't want to stay on cook but keep going back to warm, that just means the rice cooker is still too hot and it needs more time to cool down. So just wait another 10 minutes and try pushing that button again. You should repeat this cook cycle until your cake is done. My typical recommendation is any recipe that requires about one and a half to two cups of flour should be sufficient for two cycle baking. Once the alarm goes off, you come back and push that cook button again. All right, it's after second baking. Let's check to see how it's doing. Ooh, it looks like it's not done. We need one more baking. This is after a third baking cycle. Oh yeah, smells good. And look, the chopstick is coming out clean, so we're done. Go ahead and cool your cake on a rack. While our cake is cooling, let's make the frosting. We'll need 8 ounces of cream cheese and 1 fourth cup of butter. I did leave these outside for about an hour to soften it. To this, we'll add 1 cup of powdered sugar, 
and one tablespoon of vanilla extract. And then beat the mixture until it is creamy. I like my not too sweet. You can taste your frosting and add more sugar if you want it sweeter. So my cake has been cooling for about an hour. And to take the cake out, we're just going to put a plate on top and turn it upside down. And I just use my hand to turn it right side up. Look at this. Wow. I can't believe how well this turned out. Alright, if you haven't noticed, I'm not a professional baker, so my frosting is going to be very bad. I typically don't frost my cake because I don't like it too sweet and I always like it easy. Frosting just takes a lot more time. But with this cake, you need the frosting. It makes a world of a difference. The frosting may not look that great, but you know what? It's the taste that matters the most to me. And I'm just gonna dust it with some cocoa powder since I don't have anything else to put on top. And let's cut into this deliciousness. Oh, it feels really nice. I can really taste how moist this cake is just by... Soft, moist, and so delicious. Oh yeah! You really have to make this cake, you guys. Thank you so much for watching my video. I really appreciate it. And if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you know when I upload new videos. Also, I would really appreciate it if you share my videos and channel with your friends and families and ask them to subscribe as well. But until next time, have a wonderful day.